morning. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having an amazing day, whatever time of day it is where you are. So I thought for this week's video, since I am in between three different room makeovers, I'm doing my backyard patio, uh, my daughter's room, and then our bedroom. The first of which is going to be our back patio, which I am almost done. I cannot wait to share with you guys, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that video. But today I thought it would be a fun video to kind of go behind the scenes into the planning, the shopping, the thrift flip phase of all of my projects. I have a lot of things that I'm still looking for, and I thought it would be fun to just take you guys along with me and just just show you a lot of the behind the scenes things that go into these room makeovers that you don't normally see. So let's go ahead and get ready for the day so we can get started. I wanted to share with you guys one of my new favorite self-care products. It's my Era Ionic Facial Steamer from Vanity Planet. You can use this steamer every single day, and I especially love how my skin looks and feels when I use it in the morning before applying my skincare and makeup. The steam helps to open up your pores, which makes skin more receptive to skincare treatments and just leaves it feeling soft and moisturized. It also promotes blood circulation, which has been giving my skin an overall brighter and glowy look. I'm also finding it just so peaceful to sit and relax for 15 minutes while I steam my face and listen to a podcast or honestly just sit in silence and think of what I need to get done for that day. I have a code and link in my description box for 50% off an era facial steamer so you can go and try one out for yourselves. You guys, I am so excited. This is our new armoire. I got her in last week. I've had my eye on this piece at a local consignment shop for for months now and I kept watching the price was getting lower and lower and when I finally decided to go in they gave me an additional 10% off and free delivery so here she is she's so so cute and I think she makes a huge statement in this room and really just embodies the cozy cottage core vibe that I'm going for in here so let me give you a closer look one of the things I absolutely loved about this piece is the shape of it. The second is the color. It's a very light sage green. Also, look at this adorable key. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Um, that key opens and closes it. But inside is what I assume was the original color of this whole piece before it was painted. And I love how you can see the light through the little wood slabs up there, so stinking cute. I'm excited to style this. There's obviously a ton of room. When it was in the showroom, they had it styled with a lamp in here, which I thought was pretty interesting, but I really wanna make it functional, so I'm thinking linens, pillows, a plant, some antique books. Somewhere where I can style and display a lot of the decor that I am not using downstairs in the rest of my house, so it acts as like a storage slash display area for all of that decor. Now, a piece that I'm going to be searching for today are two lamps to go on either one of our nightstands, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping those lights above it or those arches. I'm not sure if those scream more modern farmhouse to me um, or if I can tie them in nicely with my new cottage theme. We will have to see, but I think two lamps there are going to look really good. So my thinking for the lamps, since for this space, I want to use a lot of thrifted or found things like on Facebook Marketplace. What my goal is today is to find lamps that are either the same shape and size. They can be different colors because what I would do then is go in and paint them and use like this aging technique to make them um, have the same color and texture. Or I'm thinking what would look really nice is to find two glass lamps that are relatively the same shape um, but definitely made out of the same just clear glass and then I could find matching lampshades and those would look really pretty and tie in the vibe I'm going for as well. So lamps are on the list for today. Now we are in Hunter's room. She is another makeover that I have in the works. This wall right here with the flowers and mirror is going to be completely different. I want to get a gold mirror to go above this dresser. 
here are the two thrift flips from my recent video I will have that linked here if you have not seen that and then this dresser I really like it but I do want to go in and update it and I may do something with the legs but I'm definitely on the hunt for some new hardware today to just give this dresser a completely new look. I'm thinking something gold, maybe a little bit Victorian. Over the weekend, I found this toy chest at Goodwill and I got it for $10. This is going to be a thrift flip for Hunter's Room. It all appears to be real wood except for the back piece, which is particle board. I love the hardware that's already on it, but I'm definitely going to be spray painting that gold to go with the theme. I don't have a completed plan in my head yet for this piece, but it has some scratches on the top so definitely I'm going to be sanding it down giving it a new coat of paint and then I'm thinking going in with either a stencil that I make from my Cricut or I could just go in with some vinyl and add on something some kind of fun design um, on here with my Cricut also maybe I could go in with some gold leafing to add some fun detail either way this is going to be a really fun flip for Hunter's room so before I start any of my room makeovers I always start with a vision board whether I find things on Pinterest Google anything that inspires me as far as colors looks textures and that just gives me an idea of what style I'm going for what things I should be looking for um, because a lot of times I don't really have a set style in mind after I put together my vision board for Hunter's room it was very vintage whimsical almost a little bit of boho style as well I really wanted to incorporate some color in her room we're gonna be doing an accent wall with this beautiful mural sky wallpaper I'm so excited for that and then I I also really loved the look of gold frames. I found this huge one at Goodwill over the weekend. All the green and blue tags were half off. So originally this was $9.99. I got it for five. And I think I'm going to use, if we have any extra of that wallpaper, maybe I'll put that in here. Um, but I'll definitely be switching out the picture. But I just thought for the size of this thing, that was a really good price. Another Goodwill find was this basket. I really thought that the shape and texture of it would tie in that bohemian vibe. And then this is a collection of other various size picture frames that all have that really pretty gold look. Some of them are thrifted. Some of them we used at our wedding, which I thought would be so special. Okay, so we have quite a long list of things we're looking for today, so let's head out and start shopping. Okay, so I'm at Goodwill, and I'm pretty sure this mirror is way too big for the wall in Hunter's room, but it's only $20 and it's huge. I think if I cleaned it up and painted it, it would be really pretty, but again, I just don't think it's gonna fit that wall. But I can't believe this thing is 20 bucks. This cabinet reminds me of the one I just got. It's $100. Look at how pretty it is. I love that shape. So much detail. I'm not crazy about the glass on it, but this would be a really nice project piece. So cute. And look at this one. This is only $60 and I love all of the floral printed on there. I think it's painted. This is such a beautiful piece for only $60. I love it. And then this one sold, but again, I love that shape. It's so pretty. These nightstands are only $9.99 a piece. They do look like they are a little beat up, but I think they're so stinking cute. They have so much potential. I don't know if they're real wood or not though. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like they're real wood. I don't know. They're cute. They have potential to be cute. We have so many lamps here. I need to go through and see which ones I can work with. They also have just lamp shades, which is nice. We are at Hobby Lobby checking out the knobs. They always have a really great selection at really good prices. These are really pretty and simple but still definitely would make a statement on that piece. And they're only $1.50. They also have so many other good gold options. I wanna go with golds because that's one of the main accents that I have going on in her room. What is this? Ooh, I think I like this one the best. 
Hello there again. It is actually quite a few days since I filmed the first part of that video. Life just got crazy. I got into a little bit of a fender bender that day. I have a rental car and then Miles got sick, Hunter got sick. It's been crazy, but I wanted to come back on and update you and tell you where I'm at with my recent finds and things that I ended up picking up and decisions I've made for these home makeovers. So I wanted to start with that beautiful toy chest that I thrifted for Hunter's room. I think I've decided that I want to paint it a pale pink color. As you can tell, I'm still in the planning phase of this, but I just wanna go for a very soft pink, nothing that's like bright bubblegum pink, but definitely I wanna tie in that pink shade that I'm going with, and I think this toy chest will be a really fun way to do that. And then I found these at Hobby Lobby. I have two of these round floral pieces and then one of this really Victorian style. I was thinking after I attached these to the toy chest, I could go in with my gold leaf and really bring in some really pretty gold details against the pink, which is ultimately going to tie into the two main colors of her room. Another thing for the chest that I stumbled upon at Hobby Lobby are these keyholes. It's a set of three of these metal keyholes that again, you can attach, and I thought it would kind of make it look more like a chest or something. Um, so I grabbed this, not sure, if I'm going to use it yet, but if I do, I will be spray painting these gold along with those handles on the side. So I figured with a fresh coat of paint and playing around with these fun little details, I could totally transform that toy chest into something that'll match her new room perfectly. Another thing I decided on for Hunter's room was the dresser hardware. They have so many cute knobs at Hobby Lobby and luckily they were half off. So I got these for $3 and and I like how they have a lot of the pops of gold. And then I grabbed two of the rose knobs and they were full price $6.99. Um, and they're just a really pretty light pink color. I think that they're going to add a really pretty feminine touch to her dresser, and I don't really want to paint the whole thing, so I think just switching out some knobs can really help to tie in the theme without having to do anything too crazy. To go above her dresser in place of the mirror I have there now, which is silver and kind of a whitewashed wood, which I still love and I plan on repurposing somewhere else in our house, but it's not really going with the theme especially with those gold picture frames. I wanted a gold mirror to just tie everything together. And I went on Facebook Marketplace and I was able to find for $25 the most gorgeous mirror. It looks vintage-y and antique-y to me anyway, but it's from Kirkland's. They actually sold it for $75, but it's out of stock. So I was able to pick it up off of Facebook Marketplace for $25. So I'm very excited about that. The one thing with it though, it's extremely heavy so I will definitely need my husband to help me make sure it's anchored into a stud and just properly hung because it's just so gorgeous. Okay, and just one more thing for Hunter's room that I found yesterday. This is from Home Goods, and it says, the world needs who you were made to be, and I just love that saying, first of all, but I really love the font that this is written on. It's very lightweight, and I was looking for a piece of art to hang on the sky mural above her crib slash soon to be bed whenever we transition that over. But the problem with this is it has this wooden frame. The frame is pretty thin, so I'm just gonna see how it looks when I hang it on there, but I do think I'm going to end up painting it. I don't know if I should just paint it white so it kind of blends in with this or try to go in and give it more of a gold look. I would almost love to find a bigger one of these that I could attach to this so it kind of looks like a frame and paint that gold. So that will be to be determined for this, but I thought that that saying was really cute and um, it was $20 from Home Goods. And these next couple pieces I'm going to show you are for our bedroom. They're all thrifted. I've been trying to go with a very eclectic, found, cottagey feel for our new, the new vibe in our room, which I think will be so perfect with that new armoire in there. It's gonna look so nice. So I ended up finding at a thrift store 
this really pretty set here, which I just love to put on um, a little end table next to our bed, whether or not we put some fresh flowers in there or not. I just think there's nothing more cottagey than this setup. It has like that crackle finish to it, which I thought was really cool as well. And then I did end up finding two matching lampshades. They were $4 a piece, $4.99 technically. And I'm not crazy about the color. And honestly, I haven't even uh, plug them in with a light bulb to see if they work yet, but fingers crossed. My only plan for these is that I'm going to totally transform them. I'm not crazy about the color. I don't really want it to look like it's made of this wood. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing the baking soda method with these to make it look almost like a piece of pottery. So to be determined, but I thought these were a great price. I could play around with them and see if I could get them to match the feel I'm going for. And I also thought it would be fun to go in and pick out my own lampshades just to go with the vibe. I am so close to having our back patio done. Literally just need to lay the rug down and I need help um, to hang a curtain rod out there because we have like a cement situation. I can't wait to show you guys how I transformed it and just how much better it looks than it did before because it was pretty bad. A piece that I did find for decor to go out on my patio is this really pretty wooden lantern. It's almost like a basket lantern and this was from Joann's. Everything is always on sale there. So this was originally $70, which is crazy. I think I got it for closer to 35, I wanna say. Um, and it does light up, there's a candle in there, but I thought this was really pretty. Originally, I was going to hang it from the ceiling, but then once I went out there and I just put it on one of the tables, I thought it looked fine just as a piece of tabletop decor. So that really just ties everything and just the vibe I have going on out there Together. So they also had different sizes and like I said, I think they would look so good on any patio, even a front porch. So if you're in the market, definitely go over to Joann's and check out their selection. They had a ton of lanterns, a ton of decor on major sale. And the other thing is huge. I'm having a hard time getting it in the frame, but I'll pop in a picture so you can see the whole thing. Um, I got this Giffen's Garden sign to go out on our patio as well, just to tie everything together. I love the font, I love the design, and it's just so cute. And this one's pretty lightweight. It's a canvas material, but it is framed on wood. So that's another thing we have to get hung up out there. And um, if you want to check out this sign, I do have a discount code, so I will leave that linked down below. I believe my code is good for 15% off any of their signs in any size. So again, I just love this for a back patio. Really, you could use it inside your house, wherever. It's so cool, and I love that it's personalized. It's just gonna be a lot of fun and add a really cute, personalized element to that space. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed some of the behind the scenes, planning, shopping, all that stuff that goes into these home makeovers. I'm so excited to finally get them revealed, especially as they're coming more and more together. It's really just fun and I can't wait to see what you guys think and give you some ideas and inspiration. If you like these more vlog style behind the scenes videos and you want me to make more of them, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know and I can add that to my filming schedule. Thank you guys again and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.